Three and thousands head there for work every single day. But on Tuesday, someone who doesn't work at the GM Tech Center in Warren showed up with ill intentions. And what happened next has really shaken a family to its core. Local 4's Nick Monticelli is joining us live now this morning. And Nick, this story now going to play out in a courtroom because one woman ended up being seriously injured. Well, so what happened was a woman was inside the GM Tech Center working and then her daughter showed up asking to talk to her. She came downstairs, went out in the parking lot, and then her daughter, according to police, started stabbing her multiple times. That daughter, the suspect, will be arraigned in court this morning. I'm thinking about my mom, making sure she's all right. Two days later, and Nathan Kerr's mother, Stephanie, is still in the hospital trying to recover after being stabbed outside the GM Tech Center in Warren. The person who stabbed her is her own daughter, and she is set to be in court for the first time today. Family members say the 32-year-old suspect has mental health issues. It's very difficult because it just brings tension in between a family. You know, family is everything. According to police, the suspect went inside the tech center, asked for her mother, and then stabbed her outside several times. She's not talking. She has a tube down her throat, and I did go see her as soon as I could, so I left school early. In. Despite that, the 52-year-old is expected to survive, but much of that is thanks to Paco Sarter. Lady, the victim that was on the floor, she was like, help me, I'm dying. Sarter works as a valet supervisor and pulled the gun to stop the attack. Despite him having a valid CPL, he was fired for having a gun on the job, but in a Facebook post, Warren Mayor Jim Fouts said that decision has already been reversed. I'm very thankful for him saving my mother. I don't know exactly what I'd do without my mom. You know, it's just me and her here at the moment. And I'm just really thankful that he stepped in and saved her. So again, the suspect, the daughter, will be in court at 9 a.m. today. This is the arraignment. The judge will take a look at the case and, and determine if bail should be set, if any. She's likely facing charges of attempted murder. And because the family is already saying that she has some kind of mental health issues, a mental competency exam will likely be ordered sometime down the road. We're live this morning. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.